Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to take a look at switch port security on the Cisco switch. On our topology on the right hand side, we can see one Cisco switch and the fast ethernet 01 has been assigned VLAN 100 and it connects to Alice's computer. Her IP address is 192.168.100.2 and she is connected to the Cisco switch via fast ethernet 01. So the question is, if we had a hacker over here with an identical IP address, say they used Wireshark to snoop the packets and figure out what IP address Alice was using and then connected themselves to the switch physically, how can we secure our domain? For those who don't know what sticky MAC addresses are, it is a feature that allows a switch to retain the MAC address of a connected client, such as Alice's computer here and stores it within the MAC address table on the switch. And what I'm going to show you today in Packet Tracer is how we can use that information so Alice's computer is stored within the switch, which is the computer that we deem safe. And once it learns another MAC address on that port, how we can act upon it. And what we're going to do here in the steps is shut down the port upon a violation occurring. Let's get into the steps. We'll go to Configure Terminal to apply some configuration. We'll go into our fast Ethernet 01. Now, if we try to apply port security here, it won't allow it because we haven't assigned it into an access port and it haven't assigned it a VLAN. So I'll just show you here. Switch port and we want to go port security. And we can see there the command is rejected because it's a dynamic port. I'll go ahead and make it a access port. So we'll go to switch port mode access and then switch port access VLAN 100. And all I've done in the previous, which I haven't showed you, is just created an interface VLAN with that gateway because Packet Tracer has a feature where you need to pass some traffic for the violation to occur. And in a real life environment, this shouldn't be necessary. Okay, with that done, we can go ahead and do the switch port port security command, which enables port security. And if we just enter that again, we can do a question mark. And what we're going to do here is go with sticky MAC addresses. So we want to go for MAC address, question mark. Now here you can enter a static 48-bit MAC address, but we're going to go with sticky. So it learns Alice's computer just straight away. We don't need to enter it dynam uh, statically. So we'll go for port security, MAC address, sticky. Our final step here, step number five, is to shut the port upon a violation occurring. And you can see here with the switch port, port security question mark, we get this violation feature. So if we go into that, port security violation and do a question mark, we can see all the modes that can take effect once a violation occurs. So as soon as it learns a MAC address that isn't Alice's, this is what's going to happen and we're going to go with shutdown which is also the default so it might not appear in the running config uh, because once you apply switch port port security this is the command that already takes effect by default but we'll add it anyway for peace of mind and with that done we can hit end and save that to the running configuration we'll save the running configuration of wr and we can do a show MAC address table. See, Cisco Packet Tracer has a weird feature where it doesn't learn it. So if we just hop on Alice's machine here and go to desktop, command prompt, and we'll ping the default gateway that's on the switch, which will come through. There we go, it's come through there. And we'll go back onto the switch, run that command again, and we can see it's come up. So VLAN 100, that's absolutely fine. And we have this .b719 that it's learned through the internet, the interface fast ethernet 01. Another good command just to verify the configuration we've done is show port security and then whatever interface you are using. So we are using FA01. And we can see here port security is enabled. 
the status is secure up and the violation mode which we spoke about earlier is shut down which is what we want to achieve and if you look at the bottom here it's got the last source address and if we look at the MAC address table it's .b719 and you can see that here .b719 and it's last VLAN VLAN 100 and some additional information it counts is the security violation so we should see this increment upon a violation occurring and we can see the total MAC addresses it's allowing on the interface which is one because we've just got a sticky MAC address of one only allowing that particular one which is Alice's PC and lastly a really good feature is once you save the running config to the NVRAM if you do a show run and we go to our fast ethernet 01 we can see the port security MAC address sticky is also here within the configuration just another good way to verify the commands you've done I have gone ahead and disconnected Alice from the fast ethernet 01 and connected our hacker client into the same switch port so fast ethernet 01 and you can see they have retained the VLAN 100 and they've also found out Alice's IP address and used identically the same setup. I'm on the hacker client at the moment and this is just a feature of Packet Tracer so in a real life environment this port will disable straight away upon the switch realizing the MAC address is different and so just ignore this we'll go to ping 192.168.100.1 which is our gateway and immediately you can see the interface going down because it's shut the port and the violation has occurred it's no longer realizing the MAC address of Alice and it's only realizing the new MAC address that's picked up from the hacker client and there we go we can see it timing out and it's protected our network Finally, back on the switch, we've issued the show port security interface fast ethernet 01. Our port security is still enabled. The status is in a secure shutdown, which is different from a shutdown because it has, if you see it admin downed, that's an act you've taken. If it's a violation occurring, it's in this secure shutdown because port security has been triggered. And if we go to the bottom here, our violation count has increased to one. And this MAC address is different, 57AB. If we scroll up, we will see Alice's, which was B719. And there you go, guys. Just a quick tutorial on switch port, port security.